And how you guys doing today? We're going to be talking about the Hells Angels versus the San Jose Police Department. Okay, this is a very interesting case here. This has to go back to January 21st, 1998. Uh, Bob Biera and his wife, they awoke to gunshots outside their San Jose home. Now, what started this whole thing was the video that police said was gotten by one of the members of the Hells Angels that proved an incident at a strip club where a guy was harassing a stripper and stuff. And later on, the one member of the Hells Angels that was charged was found innocent. But this whole thing played out to the United States Supreme Court where they refused to get involved in this case. Now, the case had to do with how law enforcement approached and abused a warrant that they uh, had gotten on some of these properties. They killed three dogs. Can you believe it? They killed three dogs. What's wrong with them people? You don't kill dogs. Uh, you know what? I'm telling you what, man. Everyone, anybody who ever shot my dog, I'd be giving them freaking the medieval treatment and stuff like that. Intestines uh, and all out of their freaking body. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this real quick. And this is an old article that I found on the case. And it had to deal with, and it's funny gangbusters you know how the media loves doing that kind of crap uh and it asked the question are the hell's angels a motorcycle club or criminal gang and it goes on to talk about soon the courts may decide as local bikers sue the cops to get their good name back and that's one thing that we always find with these cops are they automatically label motorcycle clubs as gangs and we talked about how this has been going on all the way back to even Hollister that narrative is always there always there it's never going to change by the way even though they got officers that go running around with three piece patches on uh they want to be something they ain't maybe i don't know like that uh but let's continue the story here this was by jim reddon and it was on the morning of the 21st of january 1998 bob and his wife Lori awoke to gunshots outside their san jose home uh bob jumped onto the back balcony outside his bedroom in nothing but his underwear well yeah if you got shots going on out there uh there in uh, blurry eye disbelief he saw a line of san jose police officers wearing what looked like riot gear one held a uh, pair of bolt cutters to his chain link uh, gate motionless on the ground inside the fence lay their 10 year old dog sam whose blood had already began to flow outside the house. His other pet, a bull massive German Shepherd mix, was running away from the gate. The officers took aim and shot him three times as he ran away. I guess cops are used to shooting things in the back, aren't they, when they're trying to get away? They'll just shoot a person in the back, a dog in a, you know, the back. Uh, and one of the things that this lawsuit argued was there was other ways that they could have dealt with these dogs. They could have pepper sprayed them, for example. Two of them were running away. There was no threat to them whatsoever. Uh, and then it goes on to say, I still can't fathom it. And that was Lori in the shade of an awning. Uh, the officers put uh, him in handcuffs and searched the house. For seven hours, they searched that house. Seven hours. Uh, they were not wanted 
uh, for any crime and nothing illegal was found at their home. Uh, yet that morning, police had a search warrant for his home based solely on his 29-year membership in the Hells Angels. That was the only thing that they had was that he was a member. I thought you needed a lot more evidence to get a warrant in this country, but I guess you don't. That same day, uh, the search was uh, search warrant was used at 17 other Hell's Angels members throughout the valley by a vast network of law enforcement agencies, including San Jose, Gilroy, and all that good stuff. They were trying to gather evidence that would link the San Jose chapter of the Hell's Angels Motorcycle Club to a beating and murder of construction worker Kevin Sullivan at the Pink Poodle Nightclub in September of uh, 97. Uh, the Angels at the time were challenging those searches with a warrant that seeks to clear the club's name and recoup a quarter of a million dollars in damages from the city. But local law enforcement, as they always do, and especially at that time, rejected the claims. Uh, Quote, from what I've seen, there was no wrong uh, doing. My ass, you shot two damn dogs running away. It's kind of like how you're shooting people in the back. How many times has that really happened? Hmm, I wonder. Uh, You know what? That's some coward stuff, man. Shooting dogs that are running away, man. Uh, And then you shoot a freaking 10-year-old Rottweiler? Come on. Give me a break, you schlucks. You could have used freaking uh, pepper spray or some other way of doing something. Uh, And you know what's even worse is Viera... He owned a towing company for 20 years, owns commercial and residential property, and pays his taxes on time. The media doesn't want that kind of information getting out to the general public. And why? Because it kills their gang narrative. That is what sells their damn papers, is the gang narrative. And they thrive off of when cops bring that kind of shit up. I'm sorry. And Vera said it right. What gives them the right to kill the dogs? Because they had a snitch or an informant say, hey, he had guard dogs there? Unfreaking real. Unfreaking real. And uh, they go on, uh, let's see here. Uh, George, uh, Officer George Gilblanco. A Hell's Angels expert. Okay, what makes you a Hell's Angels expert? It's just like that Steve Cook with the Midwest Gang Association. What makes you a damn biker expert, you schlucks? Why? Because you busted a few members? That makes you a gang expert? People get sick of that stuff, and people that are actually true and do research... No, you're no damn expert, because you're talking out of your ass. Anyway, he hoped to find minutes of meetings at which Hell's uh, police suspected the Hell's Angel members may have planned to murder. Yeah, they're going to write it down. What kind of expert you really are? You an idiot. Uh, Along with the security camera tape from the Pink Poodle that may have captured the murder. So, unreal. Unreal. Now, what's even interesting here is this went to the highest court in the land. They refused to get into the dispute between the Hells Angels and California law enforcement agencies over the shooting of three family pets. We need justice for them dogs. That's what I say. Anyway... The Hells Angels did it right, and they kept on suing these bricks. Anyway, the Supreme Court refused to muscle into a dispute between the Hells Angels and the California law enforcement agencies over the shooting of three family pets during a police search. That meant the officers could be sued 
by the biker group over the 98 or 1998 rates. And they, they go on to say the case presented an interesting question for the justices. What type of constitutional protection does someone have when police executing a search warrant shoots a pet? You got a constitutional right to freaking your safety. And I believe dogs are a part of that safety. And when a cop indiscriminately starts shooting at them, what are they doing firing their weapons like that any damn way? Anyway, the attorney said they had to kill the dogs to protect their safety. That's what they were crying and whining about. They had to do it. They were behind a gate. Two dogs were already running away after the one was shot. That's protecting their safety. It kind of freaking bugs the hell out of me. When they always use my life was in danger excuse to shoot a human being. It drives me wild. Okay? It, it, it It's absolutely insane that they're allowed to get away with that type of excuse. Uh, now, again, the case was uh, dates back to 97 when he was beaten to death. Maybe he shouldn't have been messing with the freaking uh, stripper, man. Uh, but anyway... The Hells Angels sued him. Supreme Court says, go screw yourself. The Angels have a right to uh, sue you because you're a pricks and shot a freaking dog. Two or three of them. Pricks. What kind of heart do you even have, man, shooting a dog? That pisses me off the most out of this story. They ended up paying $797 out to the Hells Angels. Oh, yeah, the Hells Angels got their asses. Uh, again, they sued four local governments saying the officers conducted a, during a, conduct during the series of raids was unconstitutional. And obviously, the Supreme Court agreed with that. Uh, now, sheriff deputies participate in the searches. Now, they agreed to pay 990000 the cities of Santa Clara and Gilroy uh, settled for a combined total of about $50,000. Uh, the total settlement in this case was $1.8 million. $1.8 million. And it is time for cops to be held accountable for the crap that they pulled. You know, this is one incident going way back in time. How You know, I like going back in time on some cases to get them out in the public view. But this does have an example of how if you're mistreated by the cops, especially as an MC member, there are things you could do to seek justice, if you will. You know, law enforcement, they're all into justice. Well, this was a case of getting justice for illegal searches and unconstitutional ones. And I had actually wonder how the case law on this was going to play out in future stuff. And hopefully it teaches cops that you cannot shoot the puppies. Leave the puppies alone. Grab your stun guns or grab your mace or better yet, give them a nice marinated steak and I guarantee they will leave you alone. Don't be a bunch of cowards and shoot dogs when they're running away. That was a $1.8 million dollar mistake on your part but you guys are not the smartest people in the bunch now are you you know hey by the way how do you cops feel anyway about other cops making money off the cases that they worked i was just i'm just wondering about that uh because it seems kind of counterproductive to you what you're supposed to be doing uh they i think they're enriching themselves and they're going around telling a bunch of bullshit that's what they've been doing, 
all these so-called motorcycle club experts. Yeah, my ass. Anyway, we're heading over right now to the second half of the show, MotorcycleMadhouseRadio.com, or go over to the Discord server and come and listen to China Doll and myself. We get freaky and raw, baby. We'll see you over there. Don't forget to pass this video along and uh, like and share it, man. <laughs> 